They just want your money. They just want your fucking money as much as they can get. The following program is rated TV M-A-N-O-C. It contains a big pair of nuts directly on your chin. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. What's going on, fam? It's your boy, Papa Swilio, America's favorite bearded son. Yay! Hooray! Hooray for the beard and the sick fucking gains. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the old subscribe button. Stick around for some more awesome drops and check all the links in the description down below for the daily podcast for apparel and, of course, to join the Swole Fam. If you haven't yet gotten your free copy of the Seven Pillars of Swolenormous series, go to swolenormousx.com and click on the announcements right at the top. But the link, the direct link is right below the beard. Go click it and download the manual, the audio, and the full ebook that has over 120,000 downloads. It's an awesome start and upgrade to your fitness. It'll explain it all. Go get it. Go. Oh. Oh, oh. Today's video is a fun topic because it involves Abercrombie and Fitch. And I saw this on the New York Post, which is obviously trash. So this is not like, hey, this is, you know, we're talking about stats, statistics, and this is just the concept because Abercrombie was something that was really popular when I was in high school, like late 90s, early 2000s. It was super, super popular. I guess it still is or kind of went down the, you know, went downhill a little bit with the whole rise and the popularity of being lesbian, being gay, LGBTQAIXYZ, all that stuff. Whatever you are, that's fine. This is not what it's about. I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. Come on. Don't be so sensitive, you fucking jabroni. Abercrombie was all about being part of the cool kids. And even the CEO apparently had said in 2006, Mike Jeffrey said, <laughs> in every school, there are the cool and the popular kids. We go after the cool kids. We go after the attractive all-American kid with a great attitude and lots of friends. So they were shamelessly posting and you know, advertising to skinny little twinks that were, had little abs and those, it was fucking weird. It was always weird. You walked into or walked by an Abercrombie store. It reeked like cologne. It was disgusting. And the clothes were overpriced. I have a couple things from a long time ago that I bought on the clearance rack that still kind of fit me, but they were baggy at the time. They're just fucking, it wasn't good. It wasn't really great stuff. I'm surprised that, you know, adults still purchase that or I don't know who the fuck goes to Abercrombie nowadays, but they closed a lot of stores. They were doing poorly, but now they're kind of coming back because of a new ad campaign and a restructuring and all that stuff, but they are now gearing towards everyone. So the previous CEO was saying that if you advertise to everyone and you promote to everyone, you'd be all inclusive. It's cool. You'll have a big audience, but you're not going to excite anyone. So he was talking about in the sense of niche, you go after a niche and you can really double, triple down and go all in on that. And there is valid point to that. You want to have a niche. The thing is the company went downhill because trends now are being inclusive to everyone and it's too inclusive. It really is. It's too inclusive. Now, this is not about being body positive for amputees, burn victims, color of skin, that's fine. We have to redefine what being inclusive means. We have to redefine what being body positive means. Body positive is not an excuse for being unhealthy. Body positive is not an excuse for being obese. Body positive is not an excuse. It's not something that you should try to achieve from a physical standpoint when it comes to eating whatever you want. People are using that as an excuse and that's what the problem is. Now, a couple pictures from their actual campaign is fine. There are women that are, they're not like, you know, a size double zero, but they're, you know, less than average in terms of what would be considered obese. The problem is the averages are going up when you say, oh, we want more realistic people. The realistic average person is unhealthy and fucking looking sickly and about to like drop dead. The average person is pre-diabetic. The average person is overweight. Like the average person doesn't take care of themselves. So we have to be careful when we use average and realistic and cross-check that with actual being body positive. If you were in a fire, you can't change the burns on your face. If you don't have an arm, you can't change the fact that you don't have an arm. You can have a prosthetic or maybe you eventually will have bionic arms like the Terminator, but that's being body positive. Having big ears or a big nose or big lips, that is being body positive. Being 200 pounds overweight is not being body positive. That's being fat and that's being unhealthy. So these pictures aren't anything. There's one that 
little budget James Corden over here. Of course, there's guys that are dressing like in bralettes and I mean, not my thing, but of course, if you want to dress however you want to dress, dress. If you want to dye your hair purple or pink and like men or suck dick or eat pussy or whatever you do, it's like, it's totally cool. That's being inclusive sexually. Fine. I don't know why we have arguments in this country. Like you can't like a woman. You can't like a man. It's like whatever the fuck you want. As long as you're not forcing me to like the same thing, that's cool. I don't care. It's, it's cool. If you like to play basketball, that's cool. I don't like to play basketball. If you were forcing me to play basketball all the time, that would suck. If you were forcing me to go golfing all the time, that would suck. If you were forcing me to suck dick, that would be illegal. And that would also suck. Get it? <laughs> but that's fine. That's different, okay? But let's remember why they're changing this. Let's think about this and translate that to every other company and every other company that's selling clothing that talks about being inclusive and all sizing and hey, we have the right sizing. It's for your fucking money. Don't act like these companies are being all altruistic and they're, oh, we're trying to be more body positive. Look, we have gay people here. Look, we have fat people here. They want your money. They're going where the trends are. People don't want to be advertised to as if they're skinny. No, you're being mean to us and they're gonna get blasted on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. So they're changing changing their image and their ads to serve the population. They're leaving that niche for another niche. But the body positive and loving who you are, the color of your skin, the way your face looks, you know, what you like sexually, that is different. That is okay. That's a good thing to have. But to make it and to blur the lines, because everyone's gonna blur this line, everyone is, okay? I'm making the distinction between that message and the message of, oh, you're big, you're body positive. No, you're fat and you're unhealthy, and you're gonna have a lot of problems, and you're in denial, and it's not an excuse to eat food. Let's make that distinction, let's make it perfectly fucking clear, and let's not get it goddamn twisted. So as much as it's not A and F, and it's A, L, G, B, T, Q, A, I, X, Y, Z, blah, 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 leave the fat out of it. Some people do look a little thicker than others, but you're not naturally 500 pounds. You're not naturally 300 pounds. You're not even naturally 250 pounds unless you're six fucking five, okay? Make sure that you are approaching the body positive and this type of advertising with the right mindset. It doesn't make an excuse for you to be unhealthy. It just makes the world a better place to live based on your preferences. It gives you freedom, but it doesn't make the excuse for the reality of what obesity actually is caused by and the consequences of it. Thank you so much for watching. Drop your comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Did you ever wear Abercrombie? Would you wear Abercrombie? What do you think about body positive clothing and shaming with clothing? What's your experience? This isn't really even about Abercrombie. It's just about the concept. So there's good things about it, but at the same time, you can see where this fucking goes, okay? So don't get it twisted. A lot of people are. What do you think? Drop it down below. I hope you enjoyed this sack on your chin. As always, you get that daily sack. You get that daily sack. You got the hair. You got no pants on. I mean, uh, <laughs> check the links in the description down below to get your seven pillars series absolutely free. Just check it out in the description. It's right down there, right down there. And make sure you drop a comment and let me know what you thought and what you want to see next right here on the Swole Network. <laughs> Making gains and taking names. Peace, species, peace, species. Oh, oh. Hey, all of y'all talking, but I just went. Pop a swole, Leo, put nuts on they chin. Like Everson K2, get mounds of cash. Looked in the crowd, saw my name on the ass. You made them bands, now your money is spent. I sash away about 40%. Empire with honey, like I'm Gary V. My pennies are blue, but the product is yeah. gray. I'm dropping slappers to hell with an album. Might fuck around and go see Jimmy Fallon. I multiply while you bear.